with no place to go. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. But first things first, let's get our bodies moving with a little warm up. And Marcus, so I'm warming up that upper body. You're keeping those hips. Hey y'all, hey! Welcome to another gorgeous day with your girl Jess. I know I look a mess. I know I look a hot mess. But I just got finished working out. Um, and I'm about to take a shower and wash my hair. Because this has got to get done before we go back to work. Today is Friday. Uh, I don't know. Friday, November the 24th. So Black Friday, day after Thanksgiving, and we about to get our life back in order. So spend the day with your girl, because you're going to spend the day with me as I try to get this eating thing back under control. Let me sit y'all down. I'm still operating with a camera that doesn't have a viewfinder, that's so I can't see myself and how I look when I talk to y'all. So one day I'll get there where I'll upgrade, but today ain't the day, and tomorrow might not be even. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I got some water that I didn't finish from last night. Mm, so this is a little less than 16. I think that says 16. Yeah, 16 ounces of water. So I'm gonna drink this and then go downstairs and make a new one. So, um, update y'all while I take my hair down because I'm hopping in the shower and this hair got to get washed. So, yesterday, yesterday on Thanksgiving, I was scrolling through my uh, old stories, my archives on Instagram. And I came across this archive around the time that I had surgery. And I screenshot it because I want to create a wallpaper for my phone that reminds me at all times to be mindful of just everything that's going on in life. My hair is caught on this, this rubber band. So I'm not going to try to pull it too much. Uh, where is it? So I wrote this on March 6, 2021. And it says, I won't lie to y'all, I'm scared. Not because I'm in pain and nothing is truly fixing the problem. Um, I'm scared because my mom messed up my... Mm -hmm. 
I'm scared because my mom messed up her knee around the same age and never really recovered from it. It played a part in her weight gain. I don't want the same thing to happen to me. And y'all, I think a lot of what I'm going through with the, the whole part of getting older and just being comfortable and happy in my skin, it has gotten me very relaxed and comfortable and happy at this weight. Um, when I moved from Georgia to St. Louis, I was about, I said I was about like 230, 235. And then I came, I did uh, the biggest loser, I'm not biggest loser, 75 hard. And I dropped from, I dropped from 235 to maybe like 215 ish 210 215 range or whatever but the weight didn't really matter to me because my body looked good and i just don't have the time now to do 75 hard i ain't gonna lie to you like when i did 75 hard i wasn't working i was just going to school and i was trying to give me a mental reset to boost me back up and then I got really comfortable and I just watched the weight gain and now I'm sitting at a good 255 between 250 and 255 and I'm being transparent because we all love a transparency moment um but I'm literally feeling my body fall apart like I'm comfortable with my weight I'm cool with it like I could rock with it because I know I look good with it but my body is telling me no ma'am no ma'am no ma'am we don't like it here let us free no ma'am and it's it shows when i wake up in the morning i'm always tired i'm always sore my feet hurt my ankles hurt it's like my body cannot support this weight and it's telling me and i'm just i'm just out here <laughs> just keep on vibing and it's not cool so we gotta figure something out and by we i just need me and so i took yesterday as a sign to okay it's thanksgiving you can indulge yourself it's thanksgiving like it is what it is i didn't have family i've been like in the house my whole thanksgiving break cleaning and getting myself out of I don't want to say a mood, but I've been cleaning and just decluttering my space and making my space feel clean and homely because I know that it will just make me a better person overall. Like, I've been cleaning, cleaning, like, cleaning, cleaning. And I still got to clean, clean that living room. Um, I got to put some order into that. But I just want... I want my house to be my safe haven and not just somewhere I come and lay my head. And for the good first part of the time of me moving here, it was definitely just a place I came and laid my head because I'm constantly on the go. Um, I think I told y'all, I did, I updated y'all. Um, I hope my fingers are so swollen. Um, <laughs> I got another job because financially being a teacher was very stressful and even with added income and not that i'm not worried about life because life has got me this far like i've got a great support system that got my back and i have never had any struggles even though i may have seen them as struggles they weren't struggles i have a problem with asking um for help or showing that i need help i like to be super independent and i like to have my own um i've been like that since i was a kid and i think it's hard for me to realize that sometimes you just have to ask for help you know and once i realized that and i learned that lesson like life has been pretty easy going um I changed my tax status because instead of being single, I'm head of the household because, listen, I run a whole house. I got kids I take care of or whatever, and taxes was eating. So, granted, this just went through like at the end of the month, like end of the year. So, I don't think it's going to affect my taxes when I go to file for them that too greatly or whatever. But i'm just like oh i don't like it here so i got me a part-time job i'm waiting to do orientation um they had to reschedule my orientation my orientation was supposed to be on the 28th at 10 a.m but uh your girl gonna be at work like her real job <laughs> i got kids to teach and while i could probably have 
taking time off to go do it and then come back or whatever i just i didn't want to <laughs> so there's that um so he said that he's supposed to schedule it either for like 4 p.m or like on a weekend so we'll see um because i don't even know how long orientation is or anything like that that's kind of why i didn't want to do it during the week but i just gotta get back into me so like this week i took one of my main focus for this week during my time off was to make sure i had all of my work stuff out the way which i did and to just focus on getting myself in a better space mentally and it had a lot to do with decluttering my house and figuring my house out um so now moving forward i can kind of move a different way and yeah that's it that's all so i just kind of wanted to update y'all on what's been going on and basically bring y'all through the journey with me i think i do better when i do what i eat in the days and just kind of like following me around days in the life i really don't enjoy i really don't enjoy uh editing like weekly vlogs or like taking y'all along through a whole week because i forget <laughs> what day it is i forget how i film stuff i forget when i pick up stuff to record and it just seems haphazard because i don't know what i'm focusing on so i might drop those and just do like days in the life um because i just feel like i could edit better but since i'm going back to my camera instead of my phone it might be a little bit different i don't know we'll see i'll just have to play around with it but I just wanted to welcome y'all, say hey y'all, hey, uh, I'm about to get this, my hair is so greasy, um, I'm about to get this situated because I need to wash it, I'm debating on whether I'm going to do braids or if I'm just going to do twist, but I've got to do something because this ain't it, alright, so I'll see y'all in a minute. This is my at home fit. I just blew out my hair and put it in a ponytail for right now. We'll get back to that later. This is so cute. I got a sports bra on, so <laughs> that's why the boobs ain't to the gods or whatever. But this is me. I love these pink cotton leggings. I don't think they sell them as much as they used to, but they will suck you right on in the way you need them to be so pink leggings pink top and just some socks i'm about to go downstairs clean up and try to figure out what i'm gonna eat protein wise or whatever get some water and get my day started at 12 o'clock and i've been up since eight but i took a shower i got my Life together, yes, my TV is on the floor. Don't mind that. One day, I'll get it off the floor.
Sorry, I'm sorry, all right? I promise I won't do that shit ever again, all right? Matter of fact, I even planned a surprise for you. A come surprise? On. Yeah, come on. I mean, I thought you like all that freaky shit I be doing to you. Enjoy. Here we have dinner. It's corn, candy, sweet potatoes, and some more of our Thanksgiving uh, baked chicken um i just put some chick-fil-a sauce on it and yeah this is dinner macros will be on the screen okay y'all i just got finished watching this movie called sloppy seconds it's on tubi and if you know you know tubi movies are very much so uh bootleg and ratchet you don't go on tubi unless you want to watch the ratchet the bad acting um the horrible editing type movies but they be getting they be sucking you in because it's like so that's the movie on there called sloppy seconds i don't want to ruin it for you because it's way 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 too much going on in this movie and the way that this movie just ended if you've watched sloppy seconds on tubi let me know let's discuss and if you haven't watched it, please watch it and let me know. Because I don't even know what the heck I just watched. I can't. I can't even comprehend. I don't even know what's going on anymore. I just can't. Hopefully this lighting is not trash. But last little meal of the day is this. 
Sorry, my breath. I was downstairs running up steps. It's like this. Go ahead and track it. Um, I didn't add nothing to this and really thinking I should have added some skinny syrup. But it is what it is. This is going to be the last thing I eat for today. So it leaves me, as mind you, I guess I made it the candy yams because I didn't know. So gave me 136 grams of protein for today, which is fine. Um, I'm about to make me some water too while I'm thinking about it. So I didn't track it all on Thursday, so I didn't want to say that I did. I'm going to make some water. and the flavoring things i'm going to be using because i'm trying to boost my water back up so i'm going to flavor the water to boost my water back up because when i was at babe house i didn't take no water with me like i normally do but i'm using um sun-kissed strawberry this is in my um my work bag sonic ocean water i don't like ocean water because it tastes like freaking coconut and y'all have got to stop making everything taste overly coconutty but i'm gonna use the whole pack we're just gonna power through it i think i've had this combination before so i'm about to just starting on my hair um yeah Nothing special. It's going to be uh, big ones because I don't really feel like spending a lot of time doing my hair. I am going to hold y'all with that. And I think I left my batteries downstairs. I wasn't planning on filming a tutorial for my hair. No way. Um, my hair done knotted back up or whatever because, you know. I didn't do it right away humidity sweating all that sort of thing but your hair your girl's hair is growing and flourishing um i just need to do better by it so let's taste this and see how it tastes that coconut is strong People that I see add more coconut to this. Who child no. So I'm going to just drink this. But I'll come back and show y'all how my hair is. I don't know if I'm necessarily going to film anything. Because I'm definitely going to make I think a TikTok. But we'll see. So I'll be back. <laughs> 